Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am doing a kind of barn vlog, but also a ride with me video. So yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you, you guys enjoy this. So anyways, on with the video. I'm just grabbing my tack right now, setting it all out before I grab Miss Pippers. Um, I got my boots, which I actually ended up bringing back because I always put my boots on in the tack room. Um, but anyways, I don't know why I did that. Uh, I grabbed Pip's brushing boots next. I always ride her in brushing boots because my trainer recommends me to, and also it's just better for her legs. So I just set those down, and now I'm headed off to go grab her. It is so freaking beautiful at Kaber. Oh my gosh, I love riding during the golden hour and kind of the early evenings. It's my favorite time. And then anyways, we're undoing her door. And then there she is. Say yeah, hello. <laughs> She's ready to go. And just put on her halter, and we're off. So, yeah. And then, um, I had her cooler on just to, <laughs> if anyone's curious, I had her cooler on just the night before, and just left it on, so. Anyway, some kisses and some loves on, and then I'm taking off her blankie. Um, I don't actually blanket my horses in coolers, but <laughs> it's just a thing, because I sometimes ride it really late, and then she's sweaty. So, anyways, taking off her bell boots, and then, um... I'm curry combing her with my curry comb glove thingy, curry comb glove thing, <laughs> and then the other side, of course, lots of pets, and then I do a little bit of her face just because she had some sweat up there from her bridle from yesterday's ride, um, that just didn't dry in time when I left, but anyways, then I'm doing my, um, like, medium brush, just brushing both sides, getting her really nice and clean, so yeah, she's so cute, oh my gosh. And then now I'm doing my soft face brush, um, just very gentle around her face, and just getting all the dirt and fuzzies off. So more kisses, more cuddles, because I just, she's just so cute, I just love her. And then I'm going ahead and picking her hooves out, and then I also do my before riding stretches. Um, I would recommend talking to a equine massage person before you attempt any of these because these are just what works for her but if you guys want to learn more about this i will definitely post some videos on what i do and why i do these certain stretches for her um but yeah i wouldn't do these without understanding what they are and why you do them so anyways then i'm putting on her brushing boots and all four leggies and then i'm putting on my lemieux peacock saddle pad in the lore i freaking love this pad so much um thin line half pad uh, this is an Henry D. Ravel uh, five-point breastplate. Now I'm just grabbing my saddle and taking off my adorable ducky stirrup covers. Freaking love those things. Um, my saddle is a county, by the way, if anyone's wondering. I'm <laughs> um, just fixing it, though, real quick. And then putting on her girthy on one side and then the other. Um, and I always use a breastplate just because her saddle freaking slips because she has, like, no withers, so that's really fun. It's sometimes annoying, I have to do it every single time, but it's okay. Then anyways, I'm heading off to the tack room to do my stuff. So I'm just putting on my tall boots. Um, they're Ariat, by the way. <laughs> I love these tall boots so freaking much. And then I'm putting on these glass thingies, um, but they're like little silicone things, but they hold my glasses in and they're so nice for when my glasses start to slip off my face during rides. Then my helmet, it's 1K. I'm bringing her a treat because she's just so good. And then now I'm putting on my bridle. I'm pretty sure this is Henry D. Ravel too, for anyone just wondering. Uh, it's a figure eight, and um, I love it. It was actually Sterling's old bridle, and it's now a hand-me-down to her, but she seems to like it. Um, and she's also in a Myler uh, loose ring snaffle bit. Uh, she goes really great in it, and I really like it. All of my horses are in it because um, it just works for them. So yeah, and anyways, just doing up all the little strappy straps. I also just clean all my tack and the fuzzy parts too on all my stuff, so it's so nice and clean. I just love it. It's so, so nice. So yeah. Anyways, um, doing my reins real quick through my martingale. Uh, I use a martingale on jumping, but I just keep it on. I could probably take it off, but anyways, now I'm just doing up my girth. Uh, I interchange it both sides just to add even pressure so I don't rank it up too quickly just because that's how I like doing it and then I'm getting on a mountain black I've been working on when I step on the um, iron that she doesn't walk off 
and then now we're heading out. So hope you guys enjoy this part. I feel like I can't talk in this, but <laughs> we're passing the water complex. Where did the tractor go? <laughs> but anyways, I'm heading down here. There's trails in the woods, and I think I can go on them. I'm just not like allowed to go canter around on the grass and whatnot. So we'll see how that goes. I'm nervous because it's dark in there, but I'm just gonna be brave. Um, so yeah, we just walked this and there is a jump behind us, but we went out into one of the, like an, out into one of the cross country fields, popped out there. And so I was like, yeah, we should probably head back because they're burning some stuff um, in one of the other fields. And I'm like, I don't, cause I'm not supposed to be on the grass cause you tear up the ground. Granted, of course I'd just be walking, but it is so pretty back here. We just passed some, that jump back there is literally so freaking massive. It has to be at least intermediate, but we're doing great. We are now on the second trail. Um, we went right the first time, so then we went left at the fork. It's the Y. And so now we're coming down a hill. This thing is like, this trail has so many freaking hills, but this is so good for her. I don't know where this one comes out. Oh shit, I just went through a spider web, I think. How how fun. I I have no idea where this one comes out, but God, I forgot this was here. Holy canoodles. Dang. Okay, well, this is where we are. I think I'm gonna call it good. Okay, but that's so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh shit. I don't wanna get in trouble. The tractor's over there, but. Look at how pretty that is. Oh. Oh wait, no, they're, they're putting stuff down. That was so fun though. Oh my gosh, that was so fun. I really enjoyed that. I would say that was a very successful hack. That was a lot of fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna go try trotting her around a little, just like on the grass over here, and then we'll be done. So yeah. Her boots hitting each other and I thought like one of her boots came off her leg and I was like that's weird. Can you hear it? This is so fun. <laughs> she, no, <laughs> she's trying to eat grass as it now <laughs> as I go. So I just keep getting on the road. But she's so good. I mean look. Oh, oh. Good girl. This is so much fun. She's tossing her head together and she's trying to eat. <laughs> but, yep, slow down. Slow down. Good girl. Ooh. Slow. Ooh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Alright, go get your grass. Over here looks really good. <laughs> and she's all done. <laughs> And so that is the end of our ride. It was so much freaking fun and I really enjoyed it, but we're just heading back to the barn and here I'm bringing her back in and I'm gonna tie her up. Um, right now I'm just taking off her bridle and stuff, but this is also kind of like my after routine of like what I do when I ride. So yeah, but anyways, taking all of her stuff off. She's such a good girl. I just kind of let her sit there cause she was chewing on some, <laughs> some grass that she still has in her mouth. Because we took some little grass breaks while trotting, so. Yeah, and then just putting her halter on. Uh, and then I'm just starting to untack her. Taking my reins out. It, I struggled with that. I don't I don't know why, but I did. <laughs> Anyways, just putting that off to the side. And taking all of her tack off. And doing her breastplate, her girth, and whatnot. So, yeah. But she's a very good girl. She's so cute. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Um, but I hope that you guys have been enjoying this video. I've been really, um, I've been having a lot of fun making this. I've always really wanted to do one of these too, so I've finally got around to it. Um, here I'm talking to the camera. Don't know what I'm saying. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, and then I'm just taking off her booties, one side and then the other, and then I'm gonna go do myself now. So I take off my helmet and then my boots. And, 
And once this pip is fully done, then I go and take care of myself. And then I'm just grabbing her liniment as well, pulling that out. Um, and because I try to liniment her after every single ride, I've been kind of slacking lately, but I'm finally getting back into the routine of it. Um, and of course, grabbing her daily apple because these are literally her favorite things ever. She loves her apple. Um, so yeah, and we bring the apples to the barn because for everybody because we have so many apple trees here. But anyways, here I'm me putting the lemon on. I put it on her neck, on her back, on her tendons, on her buttocks. Um, I put normally it on her buttocks for dressage days, but I just normally do it anyways. So yeah, and then on the other side, I put some on her neck too because she, of course she uses those muscles in dressage and and her daily flat work, but also because she has neck arthritis, kind of mild, but anyways, here I'm brushing her both sides with the medium, kind of firm brush, and then we're going in with her little soft brush for her face, and then here I'm picking out her hooves, uh, so yeah, and then next I'm going to do her stretches, I, these, my stretches after rides are different than my before ride stretches, um, and again, I really like doing these because they're super good for her neck because I can always hear her neck pop and that's great. <laughs> um, and then here I'm just sweeping up, cleaning up after myself. It's just a barn policy, but I love it. And I mean, leave it how you found it, right? So yeah, then I'm just going to put the broom away. More kisses and cuddles because she deserves all the love. And then here I'm putting my stuff back on, my favorite ducky covers. Freaking love my ducky covers. They're so amazing. Then my saddle cover. And then I'm just going to go ahead and head back and put all this stuff away now. And then I'm just throwing on my girth, half pad, and saddle pad. And then just bringing this back to the tack room. I put my saddle pad on the side because I bring my pads home just because I like to keep them home um, and organized and stuff. Then putting my breastplate and bridle away. And then, um, I'm putting her booties away. I didn't wash them today just because they were pretty clean. I mean, she literally just walked around. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I'm putting her cooler away. I'm shaking it out outside and then putting it up. And then just organizing, putting my things back in order um, to kind of keep it organized. And then here I am unboxing her uh, stall snack thing that I got. If you guys saw my story, I unboxed this. Um, and... Yeah, so I really like it so far. Um, today when I put it on her stall, she seemed to sniff it a lot and be kind of excited. So, yeah. Anyways, here I, I'm now taking care of her leggy wounds, which um, you should see them in this second. There you go. Um, these are her bed sores, just from when she lays down and gets up. They've never fully healed, um, so I have to keep druiding them. And that's why she wears bell boots, too. So I just put on the veteran, I think that's what it's called, and then the aloe shield. And then here are her bell boots again. These just keep it nice and soft. And then here I'm showing that they had aloe shield on it, which I thought was kind of funny. That stuff literally goes everywhere. Oh my gosh, it like never comes off, I, love I swear. Her so much. She's just so good. And I had so much fun. Mm, I enjoyed that so much. That was like our first real trail ride. And it was a blast. I remember actually, we had one trail ride beforehand, but it didn't go very well, nor was it very long. So. And so that is the end of this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it. Um, let me know if you guys have any other suggestions, but have a great day. Love you guys.